I switched on the television last night and I watched the, the election results come in. And it wasn't quite as exciting as watching the Brexit result in 2016. But it was good. It was good to see a party with the name Brexit in it top the poll. And of course, we all know that the, the establishment, the treacherous establishment, will still plot and scheme to stop Brexit ever taking place. And I must admit, I am very suspicious of the Brexit party. I'm very suspicious of how they're going to achieve their aim. How are they going to get from where they are now with some MEPs exactly the same as UKIP had in 2014? How are they going to get from there to delivering on Brexit? But that's their stated aim and that's what they want to do. And I say good luck to them. I hope they achieve their aim. I hope they get as Brexit. But what happens then? Because there are many other issues that people up and down this country, the real people of this country, the people who love this country, the people who are patriotic and are extremely, extremely concerned about what's happening up and down this country with the demographic change, with the mass migration. What are the Brexit party going to do about that? We haven't even heard them say anything coherent about an immigration policy, except that they're going to bring people in from the Commonwealth. Well, if you're going to bring people in from the Commonwealth, unfortunately, you're going to bring people in from countries like Pakistan, Bangladesh, countries with very, very large and very radical Muslim populations. We're going to import more people into our country that do not believe in the values that this country were founded on. And what were those values? Well, a few years ago, I started looking at this and thinking about this, thinking about what it means to be British. And after a long period of, of reflection and talking to many people that are far cleverer than me, we came to the conclusion that there are four values that are uniquely British. The first one is freedom. The second one is equality. The third is democracy and fourth is sovereignty. And each one of those are precious to every single true Brit, to every single Englishman, Scotsman, Welshman and Ulsterman who love the United Kingdom. Freedom is vitally important and our freedoms, our freedoms are genuinely being eroded by the state. They're genuinely be t being taken away. I I've mentioned this legislation before. Sajid Javid is putting legislation before Parliament that will to all intents and purposes, close the internet down, close social media down, stop us discussing important issues that we need to discuss. All under the guise of protecting the public. I don't need that sort of protection. But not only is, is Sajid Javid at his work as Home Secretary, an interesting, very, very interestingly, a few weeks ago, I had a, a photograph popped up um, somewhere on the internet from the, the London Fatwa Council of all organisations with the leader, the leading sheikh from the London Fatwa Council getting very, very cosy with Sajid Javid. I don't know what they were talking about, but they looked like they were on first name terms. I'll say no more than that. But who else is sabotaging freedom of speech? Well, Yvette Cooper. Yvette Cooper is an, not just an enemy of Brexit, she's an enemy of freedom. And she has dragged the chief executives of Google, of Facebook, of all the social media companies before her committee, before the Home Affairs Select Committee. She's dragged those people in and she's grilled them. She's grilled them about why they're, they're allowing people like Tommy Robinson to have a platform. Now, whether you like what Tommy says or not, Tommy is not breaking any laws when he says things about Islam. He is expressing a personal opinion on a religion, as many of us do. The Home Affairs Select Committee are trying to close all criticism of Islam down on the internet in the UK. B banning people from coming into the country. I think it was Amber Heard or Theresa May banned Robert Spencer, banned Gert Wilders from coming to the country. 
Why? Because they have a position. They have a belief about a religion that people will not mention. So freedom is vitally important and freedom is being eroded and it's been eroded by the establishment. The establishment, we've got to understand this, the British establishment are a traitor class, they are against the people, they do not care about the country and they do not care about you. They are self-serving globalists and they want to close us down and they want to silence us and we must stop them. The next thing, the equality agenda. When we look at the equality agenda, there's a strange pecking order now. Whereas if you're some sort of trans or I don't know what they even call them now, all these different LBGTQ whatever, or a Muslim, or or you're you're from a, a minority group, then on the pecking order you go way above the white middle-aged family man. He's just treated like a piece of dirt. Even people in the media speak about white middle-aged men like they have absolutely no right to have a voice in this country. It is insane. What we should be looking for is genuine equality where absolutely everybody, whether you're, whatever your sexual preference, whatever your creed, whatever your colour, you should be treated exactly the, the same. There should be no equality pecking order. There should be no positive discrimination. It's a complete farce. We should get back to what Martin Luther King Jr. believed in which was the contents of your heart are far more important than the colour of your skin. What you think and what you do is far more important than the colour of your skin. Now obviously what you think and what you do are affected by lots and lots of different factors like religion, like even your sexual preferences. But the reality is everybody should be treated equally before the law and should be protected by the law and pursued by the law if we do anything that's illegal. Democracy. Democracy is under serious attack. The establishment, the traitors in parliament, the treacherous civil service, the treacherous media, the mainstream media, they do not like democracy. They are terrified of the populace. They're terrified of the masses and they want to steal your vote. They want to take it away. They want to make it so that your vote is ineffective. They want to have the one party system that we've got. What we've got in Parliament at the minute is lots of socialists. When you really look at it, there's very, very few people in Parliament who are genuine conservatives or genuine capitalists. We've got lots and lots of socialists. And not just socialists, we've got the terrible P word progressives. And I was very interested to see that Paul Mason, the hard left hack from, oh, what's the publication? The New Statesman. The hard left hack from the New Statesman. Paul Mason counts Boris Johnson, Sajid Javid and Amber Rudd and Theresa May as fellow progressives. Now, it looks very likely that Boris Johnson will win the Conservative Party leadership election and he will appoint Amber Rudd as either his Home Secretary or, or which she is now. Uh, no, she's not anymore, is she? But he'll probably appoint a Home Secretary or even Chancellor. Which means you'll have two progressives, or so-called progressives, running the country. That really is not progress. That is not the political revolution that Nigel Farage is promising. Even if they deliver Brexit, there'll be plenty of other poison coming from those people. So Brexit is one step on the road to freedom, but it's a step. Once we get freedom from the European Union, then we can start to take back control. Getting freedom from the European Union is not taking back control. It's the first step. And that brings me on to the, the final point, which is sovereignty. And of course, regaining sovereignty is absolutely vital. But it's got to be genuine sovereignty. We cannot come under the yoke of massive corporations. We cannot be pushed and pulled this way and that way by massive multinational corporations that again, their only interest is profit and their only interest is getting as many people to work for as cheaply as possible in their organisations. British sovereignty means the people, the people electing people that represent them. And this is where I believe the Brexit party will fall down because the Brexit party is full of establishment figures. The new UKIP, 
For Britain, Amory Waters Party, Tommy Robinson, they are the voice of the working class. The Brexit Party is not the voice of the working class. The Labour Party is certainly not the voice of the working class. The Lib Dems never was and neither was the Conservative Party. So we have a real chance here to have a real revolution. Not the phony revolution that Nigel Farage is peddling to everybody, but a real revolution where working class people take control of their communities, take control of the politics in their area and send MPs to Parliament that genuinely represent them. Now, I'm not talking about socialism here. I'm talking about people who have worked all their lives. They may not be multimillionaires. They may not be financiers. They may, may not be big shot media personalities, just ordinary people working together and getting their own peers elected to Parliament to govern the country. And that would be true democracy. That would be true sovereignty. That would be true equality. And that would bring true freedom. And that, my friends, is what the UK freedom movement is all about. We're not a political party, but we're a lobby group that wants to change British society for the better. I want to put some links in down below to the, to the various different websites that we've got. But now is the time to change Britain. And now's the time to be very excited about changing Britain. And uh, as Corporal Jones used to say, don't panic, don't panic. Our movement's only just getting going. All Farage did was stole UKIP's votes. He stole their clothes and put a new badge on it. But we're still here. But we need to start teaching each other how to do this and how to do this effectively. See you all soon.